Okay, we're going to go over the homework for this weekend. Please make sure you get it done. And I'm going to try to, I want you to try, do some of these, and then um, do like one, and then see if you can figure out the others, and then come back and check your answers. One thing I will say is that you need to, for these here, it says for the graphs below, determine whether they represent one of the following, a relation with no rule, a relation with the rule, a function with the, no rule, or a function with a rule. Okay, so you need to write out the whole thing. Now, if you want to write the numbers, you can as well. So, let's take a look at number one. Number one, is this a relation only, or is it possibly a function where it passes the vertical line test? So, vertical line passes, 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 passes. So, this is a function, which means it's either three or four. Now, does it have a rule, which means, does it seem to have a pattern? Yeah, it seems to go down, and then it goes back up. There's a predictable pattern. So I'm going to say it's a function with a rule. If you want to write 4, fine, but what you are required to do is write the entire answer. Function with a rule because I wanted to get into your muscle memory that um, not just writing some numbers, okay? It's a function with a rule. Okay? And you're looking at it, your eyes are seeing this, um, your, your hand is writing it, it's a good way to learn. Okay, how about this one? Well, this one doesn't pass the vertical line test because, like, for example, if you draw a vertical line here, it fails here. So, um, I'm going to say it's not, it's not a function, so it's a relation, but does it have a rule? Does it seem to have a pattern? Or does it seem to be, like, unpredictable? Yes, it definitely has a pattern. It's like a sideways U-looking shape, okay? The fact that I can say that means that it has a predictable pattern. Probably it's going to keep going and going and going and here as well. If in the graph it looks like that, don't you know don't think that oh well how about later if we extended the graph will that all of a sudden change we're not going to do that to you guys okay just base your conclusion on what you see in the graph so in this case it is a relation with a rule so that's two okay number three number three um, Okay, let's see. Does it pass? Yes, pass, yes, pass, 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 pass. Okay, so it's a function, but it doesn't have any predictable pattern. So it's a function with no rule. So I'm going to say it's three. One, two, three. Um, function with no rule. If you haven't paused the video yet, why don't you try some of the others? Like try number one on your own and then unpause and check if you got it right. So if you hear, um, I, if I do the vertical line test, it's definitely a function. The question is, is, is it a function with no rule or function with a rule? It seems to have a pattern of going up and up and up and up. So it's a function with the rule, which is 4. Okay, and the reason I'm using a pen, because you know, you're supposed to normally use pencil, is because it seems to show up better on um, camera or on the video. Let's look at number five. Is that a relation only or is it a function? Well, let's see. Let's highlight some points on the actual line. And if I were to drop a vertical line, beep, 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 okay, it fails the vertical line test. You have repeating x values. So it can't be three or four because three or four means it passes the vertical line test, which it doesn't. So is it a relation with no rule or a relation with, with the rule? Okay, if it has. If it looks like, oh, it looks like a line, and it was, it's going to go up and then keep on going up and it's going to keep on going down, then that means um, it has a pattern to it, okay? It's not all of a sudden going to do something weird off the graph, okay? So we're just going to base our conclusion on what we can see, and it looks like it'll keep on going up. We can predict that, and we can predict it'll probably keep going down. So it's a relation because it doesn't pass the vertical line test, but it has a rule to it. So we're going to say it's two. Relation with the rule. As you're doing homework, you might even want to verbally say it out loud. Relation with a rule. Okay, this is a relation. This graph represents a relation with a rule. Sometimes when you say it verbally, it helps also with the muscle memory. Let's see this graph here. Okay, it's definitely not a function because it fails the vertical line test. In fact, okay, if this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis, then let's say I drop a vertical line here. It, it intersects the graph here, here, and even here. Okay, so um, it is a relation. However, it seems to have a predictable pattern. It looks like an S, and with this, it might just keep going this way, and this one keep going that way. So it seems to have a predictable pattern. 
So it's a relation with a rule. So relation with a rule. Okay, let's go to number seven. All right, um, does it pass a vertical line test? Just imagine points on here. If you were to drop it, it only intersects once. Okay, so um, that means this is a relation. Now, does it seem to have a predictable pattern? Yeah, because if I said, what's, gonna, what's the graph going to keep doing on this side? It's going to keep on going to the right. This one's going to keep on going to the left. It has a predictable pattern. So this function, because it passes a vertical line test, has a rule, okay? Because it has a predictable pattern. So it'll be four. Function with a rule, okay? Number eight. Number eight here, we have a graph, and if I draw a vertical line, pass, 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 pass. So it's a function. Now, it does seem to have a pattern, like it's just going to keep on going this way, and then it's going to keep on going down. So this is a function with a rule. Number nine. Yeah, we have a discrete graph here, which means they, they're not connecting. So pass, 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 oh, fail. So it's not a function, it's a relation. Now, is it a relation with no rule or with a rule? There isn't really a predictable pattern, so it's a relation with no rule. Okay, let's try number 10. Number 10, we've got a continuous graph. So let me see, test it, pass, 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 pass. Okay, it's a function. Now, does it seem to have a pattern to it? Yeah, it seems to be a line going down this way and going up this way. I can predict what's going to happen. So, it's a function with a rule, which is 4. Number 11. Number 11, um, it passes, pass, 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 pass. This all pass. Okay, so this is a function. Now, does it seem to have a pattern? Yeah, it seems to go down very quickly and then just slows down. That, that's a pattern we can predict. Like it'll probably keep going up and this will probably keep going down. So we're going to say that this is a function with a rule. Okay, number 12. Let's see, does it pass the vertical line test? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Does it seem to have a pattern? Yeah. Now, some of you might be like, well, there's a space here, and then no space, you know, not as much space here, but does it seem to have a general direction that you can predict, okay? Yeah, because like I could, I could predict that I'll probably keep going down here. I could create another point and then create another point that continues the pattern. So this is also, again, a function with a rule. Number 13. Uh, number 13, once again, it is a, it's a function because it passes, 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 passes. And, um, and it has, I could predict that it's going to keep going up that direction and keep going down in that direction. So it is a function with a rule. All right, how about number 14? Let's see. Does it pass here? Yep, pass here, pass, 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 pass. Okay. So it's a function, and it seems to be like an upside-down V, and it'll just keep going down and keep going down, so it has a predictable pattern. If I were to extend the graph, it, it'll, I, I can kind of draw the rest of it. So um, this is also a function with the rule. Number 15. Let's see. Pass, 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 okay? So this is a function, and it looks like it's an upside down U, and if I were to predict what's going to keep happening, it's going to keep going down and keep going down. So this is a function with a rule. So there's a lot of functions that have rules, which is interesting because in our real world, we have tons of functions that we use to create things, um, roller coasters, airplanes, um, buildings, and all of those are based on functions and graphs that represent those functions that have rules to them. But we'll, we'll be learning more about that.